what's going on guys in this video i'm going to be showing you guys everything that's all done to my car give you guys a full model list show you everything i've done to it over the past year and eight months because i know i haven't done it before on my youtube channel but i wanted to do something different show you guys all the stuff that's done to it get to know me a little better so the car is a 2018 honda civic si i got it when i was 16 i'm currently 18 right now it is a coupe I'm gonna be inserting some photos just so you guys can see all the different setups I ran. See how far along the car has come. So here she is. We're gonna start off with the front end. So it has a Sybin carbon fiber front hood. It's a vented one. I think it's a TS style, correct me if I'm wrong. It's full carbon and also have the Sybin carbon fiber front fenders. Pretty clean. And I also have the V-Land 2020 style headlights. They are sequential. If you guys didn't see in my last video, super clean and then I have the red Honda emblems you know it's not a type R but shit gotta get those on and then I have the carbon mirror caps I got them off Pro Civic I'll probably have them linked in the description I'll try to get everything that I have done to the car linked in the description just so you guys could check it out the car is wrapped so it's an Avery gloss dark gray i did wrap the car myself which was a bitch it was my first time ever wrapping but i think it came out pretty nice check it out i also have the roof wrapped gloss fucking black and i left the little wing nardo gray i mean gloss dark gray it's basically like nardo but a little darker Here's the rear end. So I get a lot of questions asking what kind of wing this is. But I mean, it's just a type R style wing for the coupe. Super clean. And then I also have a carbon fiber duck bill right there. Hell yeah. And I also have these red overlays I honestly think it looks way better with them. I did used to have a Gretti carbon fiber front lip, but it fell off on me on the freeway. And I was gonna wait to get a new one, but they're taking forever to ship it out. So I thought I'd just do the video already so you guys can see everything that's all done to it. Moving on to the wheels. These are the Work VSXX. They're 18 by nine and a half plus 22 in the front. And then they're 18 by 10 and a half plus 22 in the rear. The tires are 215.40 in the front and 225.40 in the rear. The fim in the rear, god damn. Clean as fuck. But yeah guys, that's everything that's done to the outside. Super simple, clean. So moving on to the suspension, the car is bagged. It's on airlift 3P management, Air Force suspension air struts. I honestly regret getting the Air Force suspension air struts. They fucking suck. I should have just gotten all airlift everything. That would have been the best bang for my buck because the quality is really good. I was doing the trunk setup, 
but I haven't had time to finish it. Here's a good example of how it's gonna look. I still need to mount the tank. But yeah, everything you see that's done to this car was all done by me. My uncle helped me out with a good amount of it, but most of it was me. Not a mechanic or anything. We're just going along, learning. And yeah. So it also has camber adjustment arms in the rear. They're like maxed out right now. And then I also have camber adjustment top hats for the front. They are fly air, which honestly are way better than the fucking mounts that Air Force suspension gave me. And then it does have the SPC lower adjustment camber ball joints. It didn't really do much of a difference. I thought it would, because I, I wanted it to sit fender to lip in the front, how it's sitting in the rear, but it didn't really do much of a difference. I still need to get that perfect fitment. But yeah, that's everything that's all done to the suspension. Here's how my interior looks. It's nothing too crazy. All I have is the red Honda emblem. And then I also have the hybrid racing red edition short shifter. Then I have the hybrid racing red shift knob. Not too bad. Also have all the LED lights in the inside and how it in the trunk as well. But yeah, for the interior, I haven't done anything too crazy. I do want to get a steering wheel, like a carbon one. But I'll save that for the future. Okay, so moving on to the shit that's all done under the hood. I just have minor bolt-ons, nothing too crazy. So I have a PRL short ram intake. It's not the cold air like everyone fucking runs. I just got the short ram because over here where I live, it rains a lot. And I don't have fender liner, so I didn't want to risk getting it wet all the time. This thing honestly makes a big ass difference. You're able to hear the turbo way more. Sounds super clean. And I also have the PRL downpipe. It's a catalyst version. I also have the PRL front pipe. And then I have the MAP performance exhaust. It is the race edition. The quad tip, it's like a burnt tip. And the car does have a Honda, Honda Flash Pro. It's not tuned, I still need to do that. It's currently on a base map. It's a plus six PSI via sport button. Like whenever you press the sport button, it gives you six more PSI or whatever. So yeah, that's all the bolt-ons that are on it. I do want to do bigger things to it, like get another intercooler, fucking bigger turbo. But I just gotta see, and you guys gotta stay tuned. Check out the channel, subscribe, and yeah. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked what you saw, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more content. I am gonna be changing the whole look of this car. I'm gonna be re-wrapping it, putting some new wheels on it, and yeah, just doing more shit to it. I'm gonna try to film everything, because I know before I didn't film all the shit I did to it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all the mods, everything that was done to the car subscribe yeah stay tuned peace